That one looks more like an armored chihuahua. I never thought they had like enough agility to do that. Guess they do. It kind of moves like a kangaroo, doesn't it? It's got the same locomotion as a kangaroo. What is its taxonomy? I'm starting to think it's, it's probably a marsupial. Because I recognize that gait in its step, you know, it looks like it. So armadillos are plus small placental mammals, known for having a leathery armor shell. The Dacia part of the superorder Xena Zenarthra, along with anteaters and sloths. Ah, that makes sense. The word armadillo is Spanish for little armored one. Dacia potidae, what would that be? I know pod is foot, what what would Dacia mean? And I wish I fucking spoke Greek so it would be easier to just figure this shit out just by reading it. All the animals have very uncreative names if you actually know the language. Do you know that the uh, the the uh, like scientific name for the the ferret species translate literally translates literally stinky thieving weasel? <laughs> that's awesome. Stinky thieving weasel. I think that's pretty cool. It's 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 such a good description. It's so apt. It's exactly what they are. They do stink. Have you ever had one thieve though? Somebody says lulls. You mean Latin? Don't they use Greek? I thought they use Greek. What the fuck are you do space ing? Uh I don't know. What the fuck are you scientific doing language in both Greek and Latin? Do ing. They want us to do ing. What's ing? <coughs> uh, Roman Latin. Huh. No, they should what is this? Has hard case moved down to Louisiana? No, I, I'm actually a hologram. You're our only hope. <laughs> Yeah, he moved here so that uh, I could have anal sex with him on a more regular basis. Oh, baby. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't have a computer yet, though, so don't pester me about making videos unless you want to buy me one. Like the Romans. The door has integrity. Yeah, it does. Is my face, is the face still on there? Yeah, it is. You're lucky because you're famous on YouTube. Yeah, we own luckies and famous on YouTubes. <laughs> what were we talking about before he got here? What was I, I was in like mid-sentence and I just got up and left. I guess no one cares because no one's like pestering me about going back into it. Boxing. Some are Latin and some are Greek. I fucking thought so. TJ, Damn. what is your favorite Bruce Willis film? I thought they used both. I don't know. I'll tell you what's. I, I, Bruce Willis has made some really bad movies though. Like uh, he made that. That. Uh, fucking terrible version of uh, of uh, for a fistful of dollars and um, Yojimbo. Yeah, it was, it was like, what was it Last Man Standing? Or yeah, some Last shit. Man Standing. That's that's me. And it was it was awful. Uh, he was in those fucking terrible whole nine yards and whole ten yards movies and. Uh, How are you doing, Ocean? Somebody asked. I'm fine. She's fine. I'm learning to draw demon animals. See, she's drawing demons. She's fine. Uh, God damn. He's been in so many bad movies that it almost negates everything good that he's ever done. I wouldn't say that. Hudson Hawk was pretty terrible. What was the though. fucking... Uh, what was that movie he did with Billy Bob Thornton where they fucking rob banks? Oh, I loved that one. That was kidnapping a Kidnapping the manager. Yeah, it was like Kate Blanchett was the love interest for both of them. Yeah. I don't know. I forget what it's called, but that was a good movie. That movie disturbed me. You didn't like it? I don't know. I thought it was good. I, it, I didn't really dislike it, but it kind of made me uncomfortable for some reason. 
It's like I can't put my finger on it. Dude, I just saw the worst fucking movie last night slash today. <laughs> what is it? Because we fell asleep halfway in the middle of it. I, I got Logan's Run from the fucking library. Yeah, I'm getting DVDs out of the library because I'm too broke to pay for cable. Um, but, like, the only reason I wanted to get it, I didn't know anything about it, but it's one of those big names in sci-fi that everybody's always talking about, like Blade Runner. Yeah, and fucking, there's all, this, uh, all kinds of parodies of it and shit everywhere, too. Right, and fucking Farrah Fawcett's in it. It's Mad 70s. It's from, like, 1974. First off, it fucking sucks ass. It's stupid. <laughs> but, but here's the thing I'm fucking tripping on. Like... It, it's kind of a <coughs> Aldous Huxley Brave New World ripoff, where I don't know if you've read that. I have read some of it. I didn't read the whole thing. Right. Well, it's like this future dystopia where everybody, uh, they only live to the age of 30, and then they have to compete <laughs> yeah. in like arena combat kind of thing in order to, to like be cloned and then reborn into the next generation. If they try to fucking run away instead of competing, like these guys that are yeah. like this police force called... I've read a synopsis. I know that like Logan is one of the fucking guys who kills the people, but then he runs himself when it's his time and shit. And... Right, it's, it's kind of stupid, and it's really campy and 70s-ish. But being the virulent fucking racist that I am... The whole thing I'm focused on for the entire movie is that there's, like, no black people in the whole future city. There's, like, no Asians, no fucking Mexican, nothing. It's, it's just, like, a, a, a future of nothing but crackers. So, right. And then, like, towards so the way, end of the movie. So, wait, like, you're saying that like, there's a world where you're only allowed to live till you're 30, but there's no minorities. So, it kind of evens itself out, ultimately. I guess. But, like, they never mention anything about it. I mean, like, all you see is fucking white people, and, like, they're, you know, you'd think at some point they'd mention, like, oh, yeah, at one point we had this huge genocide where white people went crazy, like, we tend to do, and fucking murdered everybody who doesn't look like us. But, like, they don't mention that at all. There's nothing about that. And I was thinking, okay, at some point they're going to explain why there's no fucking black people anywhere. Then, like, close to the, mo- to the end of the movie... My keen eye picks out one fucking black guy in this crowd of, like, future citizens, right? <laughs> and it's easy to spot him, because, like, since it's made in the 70s, he's got this big-ass poof of damn lion with an afro. And, uh... There's a black guy! <laughs> right, and, like, the, the, the focus of the movie is supposed to be about, like, wow, wouldn't it be fucked up if you lived in a world where, like, you could only grow to age 30 and then you had to compete or they'd just kill you? But, like... I'm just focused on the fact that in the future there's just one fucking black guy in this city. I mean, I mean does that mean, like, if you, if you live in the future and you go to the movie theater or try to watch a movie, there's just, like, one guy talking the whole time or some shit? Yeah, and his name is Lando. Lando. <laughs> his name is Lando Calrissian. He's the Omega Negro. If you watch, like, all episodes of Star Trek, though, there's, like, like other than Ohura, there's no black people. It's just like, hey, there's she's like the one black chick on the ship. Weren't there some like red shirts that were like black? Yeah, like guys, occasionally they they'd show like you know, but you know, like there was like those cannon fodder guys that die at the end of the episode. Yeah, you know, but like even they didn't have that many of them, you know. So it's like, yeah, this is the this is the black chick that's in the future. There's always one but black. They had a person. token for everything though. There was just one Russian guy, one fucking Scottish guy. That's and true. It was like this weird Noah's Ark. <laughs> just fucking one of everything. That's true. They had like one Asian, one black chick, and uh, they didn't have any Indian people. But but they had a lot of crackers. You notice that? <laughs> yeah, they did it by they just, a lot of wasps. They did. They were able to get away with it by just making. Uh, well, they didn't have to get away with it at the time. What am I talking about? There's nothing you got away with. Scotty was awesome. Was Scotty away? Oh, they're talking about Scotty. Scotty, beat me up, Scotty. Yeah. Think of Scotty. I like how your mouse keeps glowing every few seconds. Like That's that. Scotty's. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know where he got this mouse. This is like something new. It's it's like a, a Celtic mouse with like this cool knot pattern. It's always a majority white universe in the future, though, which makes no sense because we're not even the majority on the planet now. But, like, you watch, like, Star Trek or some shit, it's always, like, uh, a bunch of white people. Like, a few minorities here and there. It was a lot more glaring in Logan's run, though. There was one black guy in the whole future. Just one fucking black guy. Like, if it was, like, made in the 50s, that wouldn't even stand out, but... But it didn't even make sense, because in this future, like... You know, there's, like, this lottery that people enter into in order to breed where, like, you, you know, you put yourself in this big uh, species-wide dating service and then they just randomly link you up with somebody. 
Right, but so how can there only be one black guy and like no fucking mulattoes anywhere? It's like, is he the only guy not having sex or some shit? Because that's just not fucking plausible to me. <laughs> I don't know, it, it, it was dumb. Soylent Green was pretty, eh, Soylent Green was okay. I tend to avoid old science fiction in general. It was better than Planet of the Apes for Charlton Heston's side, but it was alright. Damn it, it's people! <laughs> uh, I like Planet of the Apes. You need to have sex with your gym? Yeah. <laughs> I don't <What>? get it. <laughs> what? That's what it says. That's not what it You need to have that. sex with your Let's get a bottle of gin and have sex with it. Fuck that. Break out the Everclear. Soylent.